didn't have to hit the lens. How's everyone doing today? Well, wouldn't you know it? If you've seen my video a couple days ago, you know that I just rotated my tires on my trek, on my road bike. Well, wouldn't you know, today I get a flat about four and a half miles in. Lucky for me, I was close to where my wife works, so I just walked to Steak and Shake and, and uh, grabbed me a bite to eat, threw the bike in the car, came home. So, went to Walmart. Got a tube. I actually bought some 7.5 inch tubes. They had them on sale for $1.50. Uh, some of them had the press the valve. Some of them had the Schrader or whatever the heck it's called. Everybody here knows the two weird different kinds. So, let's change the tube. I could have patched my old tube that way. I could have thrown a patch on it, but I decided to go ahead and get a new one. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with patching the tube. I just feel a little more safe with a fresh one on. <coughs> fresh rubber. I think I've seen a movie called Fresh Rubber one time. Alright. So how's everyone else's Monday going? Pretty good, I hope. We finally get a beautiful day. Super nice day, beautiful. It started out nasty this morning. It is even raining a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's it's turned out to be quite the day. Normally, I put a little air in my tube before I try to stick it in the tire, and I did clean out my tire first just to make sure. It was actually a little, uh, little sliver of metal, about that long, and just like the little splinterish, <laughs> splintery looking piece of metal is all it was. Mr. Axel, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Anyone else have a little dog that just goes crazy? over everything like we can't even go outside and sit without him going crazy I'm not kidding I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of air in it. Alright guys, went ahead and got my wheel. I put a couple of, put a couple of uh, pumps of some air in my tube. Just a little bit, just a couple. Just to keep it in there a little easier. Right there. Uh. Come on, tube, stay in there. Work out for me. 
We're getting there. Come on. You put this little deal back on the valve. Keeps it nice and secure from popping back out there. And I did make sure to make sure, make sure, while I was making sure, that I put my tire on the correct way again. I feel like I just did this a couple days ago. Yes, I do. I do not have the hand strength to do this without a tool, so hopefully my tire tool makes it through this. Go that way. Quit acting crazy. Almost there, guys. There it is. All good. Good to go. Yep. It was just a little, thinnest, little, tiniest splinter of metal. And that's the first puncture I've had on these tires since I bought them. Back in uh, December 2017. They've been really good. I don't know if they're starting to wear out. I don't know if it just hit it just right or what. But I feel pretty lucky that that's all I've had. And if the sun wasn't in my eyeballs, I could see. The casing does look like it's getting some cracks in it. Huh. Yeah, there's a little there's a little bit of wear and tear on the casing. You won't be able to see it, I'm sure. Some cracks. I don't know. I don't think that's normal, but Anyway, it is what it is. I'm not buying any more tires for it, that's for sure. Trying to save up for that new bike, you know. Sometime this year. I hope. Hope, hope, hope. I think I deserve it. I have ridden and kept ridden, <laughs> riding. <laughs> so oh, that's right, I'm not gonna put air in it until I get it back on the bike. Because you gotta have you have problems getting it through the uh, brake caliper. Unless you want to mess with them. And I don't want to. So. There you go. That just lets you know people that. Things happen at weird times. Just rotated my tires a couple days ago. And now here I am. With a daggum flat. What do you know. So guys I hope you enjoyed my little. Changing my tire video. Again. Or changing my tube. <laughs> so. Hope you enjoy my videos. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, subscribe, yeah, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. I'm a friendly kind of guy. 
All right. Don't forget, no monetization, no ads, no nothing that I'm aware of. Do it because it's fun and I enjoy it. So, guys, hey, Mr. Axel, what are you doing? What are you doing? Me and Mr. Axel say, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you later. Well, Mr. Axel wanted me to make another quick little video here to add on to the end of the tube change. The good thing about having to buy a new tube is you can recycle your old tube into other things. One thing being is a holder for your light. Now this light came with a plastic clip-on uh, that you actually had to take the grips off of and your levers off of uh, and slide the clip on and then put the, you know attach your light in there and then slide all your stuff back on and what a pain in the butt that was that mount is actually just on one of my bikes and so I, that's where it'll stay I will never take it off so the other day when I went whenever I went for a night ride um, I just quickly used some duct tape, duct taped the light on here, had it duct taped on, and that looked pretty bad, but it was nighttime, and I was in a hurry, and I was, had it on my mind to ride, so I got out and rode. So, that's what I did with my old tube. Huh? All you do is cut your piece about so long, cut a little hole on each end, it slips up over the end, and then up over this end, and it holds it on. Actually, did two layers. You'll see one part, two part, three. It just gives me a little extra security. No real weight, no nothing. I'm not a weight weenie anyway, so I don't care. Anyway, I just wanted to tack that onto the end and let you see there is some positive that comes with a flat. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>